In this video, we're going to relate arc lengths to angles. Among other things, this will give us an application of radians. The formula we're going to get in this video only works if the angle is being measured in radians. Let's say that we have a circle with radius r, and we have an arc on the circle. Let's put it here for convenience. And we're looking at the length of this arc, s. Well, we've already seen that arcs are related to angles. And our goal is to find a formula that relates the length of this arc, the radius of the circle, and this angle with theta. Now, move, taking this circle, and moving it around the Cartesian plane isn't going to change this angle or the radius or the length of this um, arc. So we might as well assume that the center of this circle is the origin. If the circle was anywhere else, we'll just take it and move it so that it's centered here. And let's draw in the unit circle. The unit circle might be bigger than this, or it might be smaller than this. When I draw the picture, Sure, the unit circle will be smaller, but the formula we're going to derive is the same either way. Here is the unit circle, and you see that this angle creates an arc on the unit circle as well. And now a bit of high school geometry. The length, the ratio, sorry, of this arc and the entire circumference of this circle is the same as the ratio of this arc and the entire circumference of this circle. What is this arc? Well, as long as theta is being measured in radians, the arc length and the angle on the unit circle are the same. So this arc has a length theta. And taking that statement about ratios and writing it down, the ratio between this arc length and the circumference of the unit circle which is a two pi equals the ratio of this arc length and the circumference of the larger circle, which is a two pi r. Take this equality multiply both sides of it. By a two a pi. And we get theta equals s divided by r. 
multiply both sides by r to get this relationship. r theta equals s. And this relationship is only true if theta is being measured in radians. We used the fact that theta was being measured in radians to say that this arc had length theta. So let me write that down. This is true if the angle theta is measured in radians.